Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about how to use operator overloading in C++. So we will be using four operator overloadings. One plus, one minus, one plus equal to, one minus equal to, one plus plus and one minus minus. So we are using um, G++. We are, we are going to write this <coughs> program in a Linux environment, Red Hat Linux 6.7 version 6.7. Uh, we'll be writing in plus to FTP, and after uploading the file, we'll be compiling this in G++ environment. So we'll start this, including upstream.iostream, and we'll be using namespace std. Class name will be num class. You can put any other name. That doesn't matter because in C++ you can either use um, any. Uh, it is not like Java where you have to use the same class name and file name. So first we will declare one private variable. Say num float num and public will be using one argument constructor float val I will not be discussing today about argument constructor or copy constructor which I am going to use And here is a copy constructor. We have to use one const well num equal to well dot num. Now we will be using a few operators, overloading a few operators. Return type is this is a return type, then operator, then the operator sign, function symbol is plus, and this then parameter. First parameter is float val, and we'll be returning class object. Num class parameter, we'll be adding this to num class val. Okay, so what happens when we return this num class object? Num class object is actually invoking this uh, one argument, this argument constructor, this one. Okay, so num plus val is been passed through it, this float val, and it is assigned to the num, this private variable, and it is been returned as a temporary class object. Okay, the second one is num class operator. Plus const num class val. Okay, this will be used when we are going to use class object. Okay, so in this class also now return num class. num plus val dot num third one is num class minus float val return the same way num minus val and you can copy this one saving time just put it in minus
maximum Islam class operator plus plus this will have no parameter this is because in it, it's a unary operator so what happens when you pass some parameter on this operator so it becomes binary whose left side is the base class which is the class you are using on which you are using this operator and the right side of this binary operator is the value which you are passing on the argument so because there is, it is a unary operator so we have only the left value no right value return num class num plus plus okay same way we put it minus minus Now, now class operator plus equal to here only we will only take class object well return num class num plus equal to val dot num in same way we can copy this minus equal to num saving and uploading the file now we will have the main int main declare num class a 10 b 20 ok we can just missed one thing we can just use one no argument constructor if you want to pass no value So that will be the C, the last one. Now C equal to A plus B. C out. Mm. Let us do one thing. Let us just use one print function. Write print C out num C dot print you can push put here a dot print B dot print We can put one end and here. Now a plus equal to b a dot print. B minus minus b dot print. C plus plus c dot print. So that's all. Okay, so this is our program, and here we have made a small changes. That is, first it is num plus plus. Now we have made this plus plus num. So first it will be incremented and pass through the parameter before returning. 
and here we are will be using pre increment okay i can also put a equal to minus minus c like this so we have compiled and we will run now we will check the what the values are first we have a dot print p dot print that is 10 and 20 then we have c equal to a plus b that will be c will c dot print will be 30 now a plus equal to b that is a equal to 10 plus 20 that is 30 now plus plus b that is 21 and minus minus c c what is exactly c here c is 30 minus minus c means 29 and a equal to minus minus c means okay c equal to 29 and we will also do hit a dot print and see what is the value of a a is also 29 so let us once again go through this we first have the argument constructor here okay the, this is the parametric constructor passing float value this is the copy constructor okay and this is operator plus which is the binary operator sending to one float value and one numeric value okay uh, we have to perform another test here we have done a c equal to a plus b now here we will do c equal to a plus 30 okay so and a dot print so see here we, we not only we add two objects we can also add numbers to an object but this is also only on the right hand side you can never put constant object on the left hand side okay because left hand side is always the class which we are using okay so when binary operators are invoked it is invoked with the left hand side object and then this constant can be used that it can it will be also it will also every time it will be it will have to be on the right side now what we can see that we can add number plus object plus number object plus object okay so this is the numeric operator overloading this is operator overloading of classes so in our next section we will come with more operator overloading with string okay we will have string operator overloading where we will con concat to string we will compare to string and we can we copy string between two, two strings and set string to uppercase lowercase and also use print function to take input output to a string so this is the this is for this tutorial that is operator overloading um, i'll upload this code in my google drive you can download it and go through it if you have any questions you can comment in my section and i'll reply to you sap Thank you very much. If you like this video, to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to put a like button. Put hit on the like button. Thank you very much.